build this wall. Okay, all right, what we have here is a KD number five with a chain. And we we bent the. I really have. We bent the. Have pieces of wood to make this house. Yes, I know. We bent this around, and we crimped a copper chain onto it, so it's attached to a chain. Okay, I made some artwork. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Printed them out on laser printer paper, not inkjet. Okay, and then I ironed them onto a piece of copper. And then I etched the copper, and this is what it looks like after etching. I'm ready to start drilling some holes. Okay. Okay. Here's the board that I made. Okay, the spring. The spring will be here connects into this anchor point right there. It'll go up here to a pivot point and then off to the coupler, a T-bar. The muscle wire, or night hole wire, however you want to say it, it's going to connect. It's going to go from here up to the, the pivot point on the T-bar. And it will actually connect here, but this there will be a piece of wire coming up and bent over and it can be adjusted for the tension. So you have a spring here, a T-bar here, micron wire going from there to there. I drilled a couple holes, one right there and one right here to attach my wires from the decoder and this one right here that's the anchor point for the screw for the coupler. I haven't drilled that out yet because I don't know how big a screw I'm going to use. So that's where we're at right now. And um, we'll make, uh, we'll be doing some soldering next on there. <clears throat> Alright, here it is soldered up. The longest one is when I'm going to put the uh, muscle wire on and um, I left it long specifically so I can have an easier time tying the wire on before I attach it with a little bit of solder and then that's the pivot point and this is where the spring will attach so there will be a spring going up here to the T-bar and you know, I'm going to make T-bar in a minute now T-bar is going to be made out of um, uh, let's see here 045048 guitar string now, this is what I got picked this up from local music store and it's got everything I need it's got 009 and the 0.042. So we're going to work on the T bar next. All right, now what I'm going to do here, I made this out of the guitar string. I made a little hook. Okay, here I'll give you a comparison here what I got. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up right in the center where the coupler screw goes which should be about right there and I'm going to put a mark where it comes over right there that's the pivot point all right all right now, this is what we got so far. We got this, like that, and I have this T-bar, okay? And uh, 
what's going to happen is it's going to butt just like that and go like this. Hold on. It's going to go up like this and then the muscle wire will pull it. There will be a spring between this point from here back to here and then the muscle wire will pull it when it's heated up pulling the coupler. Now this is going to need adjusted because right now I can tell you it's going to hit it's going to be hitting right there so we'll adjust it like that. I've got some needle nose pliers I'm working with we might have to refine this a little bit but that's how it's going to work as the wires heated up hold on as the wires heated up it'll pull this which will pull the coupler I think we'll set it up like that alright next step will be the spring alright now see if you can see this I made a spring I've got it hooked on the T-bar I've got it hooked on T-bar right here I've got it hooked on anchor point right there now when you pull on this it moves the hook that's going to connect to the chain on the coupler Okay. now I don't know if I've got this spring made properly I use .009 piano wire put in a pin vise and wound it I might have it too tight but if I do I can make another one or adjust it in any event that's where we're at now see and now it's just a matter of getting the muscle wire hooked onto here and onto this pivot or onto this anchor point. However, muscle wire can't be soldered, it doesn't hold solder. So we have to tie it on, use a special knot to tie it, and then put a little dab of solder to help hold it in place. That's one of the problems with muscle wire is it doesn't solder. So that's where we're at now. A little trick, I'll show you what I did here. There's nothing holding this all together, it's just on that pivot and the spring. So what I did is where the coupler screw goes. I have a hole drilled through there, just a small hole. I actually put a little piece of piano wire through the back twist it around and that's actually holding the T-bar from flipping away until I get the micron no, wire the muscle wire tied onto there and then I'll cut this off temporary thing so it's on the back of this I have no solder no copper pads you could You could use double-sided copper, and then you can attach your decoder wires on the back side, but I'm just going to send the wires through the holes, solder them on the front. Hopefully there will be room. That's where we're at right now. Okay. Now watch when we apply. I'm going to use a little battery, a little teeny Duracell, one half volt, I think. Okay, let's see how much pulling power this thing's got. How much torque? Here we go, power up. I 
I'd say it's got quite a bit of torque, enough to uncouple the car. So that's as far as we get now.